What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we are rocking out with a choice spec Magnezone team for you guys to use on the regulation day ladder. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But this team also has two very strong combos on it. It's got Pelipper, it's got Basque Legion, also with Indeedee and Armors. Should be a fun one. I definitely think we can get some wins for you guys. But Pelipper is going to be our first Pokemon for today's team preview with Drizzle and a Damp Rock as its item. Hurricane, Hydro Pump, Tailwind, and Wide Guard. Can't really go wrong with Pelipper, especially on a rain squad. We got Bash Legion to pair up with that Pelipper with Swift Swim to double its speed, Life Orb as items, and then moveset pretty standard with Aqua Jet, Wave Crash Protect, and Last Respects. In our third slot, we got the one and only Indeedee. And Indeedee can do multiple things. It can A, be a nice little support Pokemon, help armors do some more damage, and B, it can set Trick Room and uh, counter Trick Room at the same time. It's got Psychic Surge with the Rocky Helmet. Other three moves consist of Dazzling Gleam, Follow Me, Helping Hand. Fourth Pokemon is going to be Armors, rocking the Twisted Spoon as its item, just to boost a little bit of uh, Psychic Damage. They, I believe it gives it like a 1.2 times multiplier, so it, it, it will help Expanded Force do, do a nice chunk of damage. Armors also has Flash Fire with the Grass Terror type. First move is going to be Expanded Force like we already mentioned, and then other three are going to be Heat Wave, Trick Room, and Aurora Spear. Fifth slot is going to be Flutter. I mean, not much I need to say about this Pokemon. It's got the booster energy and a normal move set. Flutter Mane's been so strong on regulation date. It's a Pokemon that you really can't go wrong with on any team. In our final slot, we got the one and only Magnezone, a nice little off-meta Pokemon for us to showcase in today's video. It's got Magnet Pool as its ability, alongside with the Choice Specs as its item. It's Rock and Bolt Switch, Flash Cannon, Terror Blast, and Thunderbolt. Guys, you want to have to see for yourself, Mental Code is at the top right-hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on our ranked up ladder. Let's grab some wins with this Magnezone Regulation D team. First match is coming at you guys, and we're going up against a pretty tough squad. Any team with Shen Pao and Slytherwing, I think we actually showcased this team, is very, very strong. I know Slytherwing's got first impression. Lead it with the Shen Pao, you can really get after it. They also have uh, Thunderous, the Rock and Basket Legion, Tornadus, and Amoongus. Who should I lead? How should I bring this? Should I go into Ndidi? Just to set that Psychic Terrain, stop first, turn priority move, such as first impression. I kind of like that. I can go Ndidi and Armors. I could pop a Trick Room, depending on your speed, Mr. Guy. And I'm thinking I am. Any speed, you're going to be slower than a lot of these guys. So, I think we're going to go into a nice little Trick Room. So, I'm going to go Magnet Zone, and then in the final slot, we're rocking out with Fluttermane. Again, you can't go wrong with Fluttermane. Always such a solid Pokemon. But what I'm really scared of is going to be that Amoongus and Trick Room. Everybody knows that's a little bit of a problem. But I believe we have Grass Terror type on... Who do we have Grass Terror type on? I actually kind of forget. I think Armor Rouge. Armor Rouge got that Grass Terror type. So if they want to try to put me to sleep, I can always Terrasalize the Grass and really get after it. So we'll see who they want to lead. We shall see. So I'm thinking of just going follow me, Trick Room, and then eventually bring out Magnezone. Waste out turns for Trick Room, get out Booster Energy, Flutter me. Try to clean up the mess. We'll see. I am scared of uh, Tornadus coming out here and potentially just taunting. But, I mean, if we just go follow me at that point, we should be thriving. We should be thriving, but we'll see how this one plays out here. Kind of hoping they lead to Slytherwing and the Shen Pao and really do with some justice. But that's pretty much why I want to bring in Didi. Like, first impression does some work, and it's just a deadly move, so we'll see what they want to go into. And it's going to be the Genie combo. Tornadus and Thunderous. Okay, so Truck Room, definitely still our friend, correct? Definitely still our friend. And you actually can't taunt me because a prankster makes it a first time priority move. But I am just going to go follow me. I don't have protect on you, and I'm just going to pop a trick room. The follow me trick room is a lovely play here. Just soak up some shots, kind of get after it that way. Hopefully, they do end up popping a tailwind. I would like that a lot. And they just go for a rain dance. A little bit of rain dance. So they suck rain. I mean, that's okay. Nothing crazy. Wild Bolt Storm is going to come out here. And wow, the damage is intense. That's some intense damage right there. We end up getting off the Trick Room, which I absolutely love. So Trick Room comes out here. Um, do I just Helping Hand East Expanded Force? Probably my best bet. With the Spoon? With the Twisted Spoon to get a nice little damage boost? I'm all about it. I'm all about it. We should be able to KO the Tornadus with this shot. I really believe we can KO the Tornadus. I'm not sure about the Thunderous. But we'll see. We'll see. It kind of sucks we took that much damage right here early on. Hmm. But the good part about the, them sending in the rain is I, I have Thunder on my Magnezone, so 
I can just rip into thunders now. I can simply rip into thunders. No, no worry in the world. 80 speed. We're hoping they don't have a moose in the back end. That would be an issue. It would definitely be an issue. It ends up withdrawing. Maybe if you do have a Moogus, hopefully you go into it, but it's probably Shen Pao. It's probably a Shen Pao play, right? Dark type up against Psychic, yeah. So smart play by our opponent. Swords Rune is going to come out here. Um, That's fine by me. I'm cool with that. I definitely am cool with that, because like I said, this should KO the Tornadus, no problem. And we should be able to get thriving from there. Especially with the Helping Hand boost, yeah. Get on out of here. Get on out of here. So they can't use first turn priority. We absolutely love that. We are wasting out some Trick Room turns. And the reason I want to waste out Trick Room turns starting now is I want to start decreasing just so Flutterman can get some value in the back end. But they end up bringing back out Thunders, and this seems like a Dazzling Gleam kind of play. If I double down to Shen Pao, I could double down to Shen Pao. Or I can just get rid of... I'm going to do this. I know I know that has no effect, but I'm still going to go for it. Who knows? Maybe Shen Pao could Terrasalize and just screw himself over. But I'm going to Gleam on top of that. Just get rid of Focus Ash on that Shen Pao. And really just start going. So Expanded Force is going to come out here. How much damage are we going to do to uh, Thunders here? Should be a nice chunk. Oh yeah. Oh, if we would have Helping Hand that, that would have KO'd. But Dazzle Gleam should come in here. Pick up the KO. It does. And we end up taking off Focus Ash. On to the Shen Pao. Which is big time. Now would be a good time for me to actually lose one of my Pokemon. And ooh. The Ice Spinner. Ice Spinner taking out Terrain always hurts. Rocky Helm is going to do some damage. I do get to bring out Magnezone. Lovely little Magnezone to come out here. So the Terrain's gone. I love the Terrain. I love it. So I get to bring out Magnezone. Actually, I don't have Thunder on. I have Thunderbolt. Thunder would have been awesome considering this part rain team. That's why I thought we had it. I get to bring out Magnezone. Let's see who their final Pokemon is. It's going to be Basculation. Who's Swift Swim right now? I'm thinking of just Flash Cannon. And... Grass Terra ain't really gonna do anything for us. You know what? Instead of Flash Cannon, though, I just Thunderbolt. Nah, I'd rather just get rid of Shin Pao. Look, we're fine. How many turns left in Trick Room? Two. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. I can bring out Flutterman and protect the turn if need be. So I'm gonna do that, and I'm just gonna try to land Expanded Force on this thing. I wonder if they're gonna protect anybody. Potentially protect him. Basque Legion, right? Because normally their terror type is just water. Normally it's just water. And he just ends up protecting Basque Legion. So smart call for me going into the uh, Shen Pao slot. Make sure this thing is gone. And he's just going to suck a punch me. Which I kind of saw. I kind of saw. I could have actually popped the trick room if I wanted to. Which probably would have been a smart play. But from here, Flash Cannon is going to fly. See you later, Shen Pao. You made a bad read. Actually, I made a pretty good read. Thinking my thing was going to protect. And now I have one more turn left in Trick Room. I can protect Flutterman. Drop a Thunderbolt into the uh, Basket Legion slot. And we can start off hot here. Actually, we can't Thunderbolt. We're choice spec. We are spec -y. Kind of forgot we were spec. I would have Thunderbolted that Shen Pao. Because Thunderbolt would have KO'd regardless. The speed is going to get heightened. Uh, how many turns are left in rain is the real question. One. Yeah, so we're protecting Flutterman all day. I'll go for a Flash Gun here. I will protect the Fluttermane, and chances are our opponent just cancels match, right? Chances are. If not, I, I still think we're thriving here. Look at my boy Magnezone. <laughs> He's just chilling, yo. I love Magnezone. Such a cool Pokemon. That's why Gen 4 was so good, because they added so many cool evolutions that were just top tier Pokemon. Togekiss, Magnezone, Glade, the Glacial Leaf Out, Gliscor, who I cannot wait for that Pokemon to be back in. In this game. I know it's coming in one of the DLCs, so I'm super excited for Glass Score. But they end up to Rasslides. That should be straight water, right? Correct. Straight water typing. And you might just be going after my Flutterman. You might just be going after my Flutz. My Flutterman alone. I have Protect you up. Nice big shield. Nice big shield comes out here, and he's going to Aqua Jet into the Flutterman. So we're just... We're just protecting, making some good reads here. Flash Cannon's going to get cooking. Next going to do like eight. Actually, almost half. Like that lot. And the rain finally stops. And Flutterman can pretty much finish this one off. And Trick Room's bomb. So everything works out perfectly. Now I'll go into Moon Blast. I'll go into Flash Cannon. Opponents cancel battle. Probably, right? Probably, right? We're we'll winning this one regardless. So 1-0. I'm going to say it right now. Your boys 1-0. Come on, man. That was too easy. Too easy, man. 
I knew how I wanted to play and I executed perfectly. I was just like, let's start off with the Trick Room Squad. We'll eventually waste out the Trick Room Squad turns and then get Flutter Mane to back in to clean up any mess. And that's exactly how it went. We played the turns perfectly. You always want at least like two turns left in Trick Room when you bring it out, or like one turn left in Trick Room when you bring it out, Flutter Mane. Then you can just protect and get after it. The hands have gone for a last respect. He lived on one HP. Get out of my face with that. Get out of my face with that. Living on one HP. <laughs> That's actually wild. He's going to die out the life or We had flash cannon going into him regardless. But there it is, ladies and gentlemen. One and out. Let's go hop through a second match. Let's go back to back. Second match is coming at you guys. We're going up against a top tier Cleaver team with Tornadus, Dragonite, Shen Pao, Urshfu, the Dreaded Trio combo right now in Regulation D, and then Fluttermane for their final spot. How should we play this one? How should we get after it? I could pop Trick Room again. Just going in DD and Armor, which could be really good. They could lead Shen Pao, which could be a little bit of a problem because then they can just Ice Spinner it down. But at that point, hmm, maybe I'll just swap in DD. I'm not too sure. If we can get off Trick Room, it would be gorgeous. But the first turn priority is just a big time issue. And then setting the rain is another issue on top of that because of how strong Urge Pill is in the rain. But you know, maybe we'll go. Maybe we'll go Rain Squad right off the rip. I can get down with that. We'll go Rain Squad right off the rip. We'll bring Fluttermane in the back end alongside with Indeedy for a little bit of defense or maybe just Choice Spec Magnezone. Maybe you can come up clutch. We'll bring him in here. But this one, it's going to be tough. I feel like those three right there, Dragonite, Shen Pao, and Urshfu are really good up against pretty much anybody. Because, like, Psychic Terrain doesn't fully counter it. Because Shen Pao, as Ice Spinner, can just break the terrain and then they can get right after the first turn priority moves. Which is tough. It's so tough to play up against those three. That's why everyone's using them. They're just, they're OP in the meta. They're just so strong in the meta right now. So they're going to end up leading who? I know these two. Okay. Well, I could have I popped Trick if I wanted to, but I really like her lead here. I like her lead. So I'm going to go for Tailwind. Um. That is going to go boost your energy. I think he is going to potentially Shadow Ball into me, so I might just protect. Oh, that's going to be Special Attack. So actually, since that is Special Attack, and we should be able to outspeed this thing. Unless he Tailwinds. I think I'm just going to Thrasilize and try to get rid of the Fluttermane. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I want Fluttermane going, so I'm going to thr Thrasilize the Basky Legion. I'm going to pop a Tailwind of my own. We're going to look to get it. Lovely little Tailwind. The nice little basket agent comes out here. Water terror type wave crash will easily clean up that flutter main, no matter if it turns or not. And he's just gonna pop a tailwind. Hopefully you're on for a shadow ball into the into my fishy slot. You are. Cool. It's a good call on the terror. He's gonna do some damage to me. I'm gonna be able to soak. And on top of that, wave crash is gonna come in hot. And I mean red hot. It's gonna KO you. Unless you're focus ash, actually you're not gonna boost your energy. Get on out my face. Sick of you, flutter main. I'll take that trade all day long. I'll take that trade all day long. So get rid of him. And chances are we have to, we still have to worry about Shen Pao and I'll say Urshfu. Shen Pao, Urshfu, or Shen Pao Dragon. Which is why this team is so good. It's like, okay, you, you dealt with these guys. Or you dealt with one OP Pokemon. Here's two more I'm going to throw in your face. And like, come on. Leave me alone. So we match Tailwind Speed. Shen Pao is going to come out here. Um, He can sucker punch me. In this case, I'm just going to go for a Hydro Pump here. And I'm going to go for an Aqua Jet. Yeah, I like that. So Aqua Jet's going to come out here before a Sucker Punch would. That's exactly why I went for it. And you're probably Sash, right? We don't even make it to Sash, but still a nice chunk of damage. We're going to lose some HP to Life Orb, and I'm going to faint to that. Hopefully you're going for a Sucker Punch. I really hope you are. Just so my Palper can get off at least one turn here. We'll see. You are. And wow, the Sucker Punch slides over. That is a little whack. That is a little whack. I wish it would have stayed in that slot, but it makes sense. My thought process was, was uh, Sucker Punch is going to stay there. Because he was Sucker Punching my Bash Legion the whole time. So if we didn't die to life, we would have been thriving. But from here, I do got Booster Energy. It should be speed. It is. That is that's just enormous. We got a little bit of speed action going here. And chances are... Chances are right here that you're gonna sucker punch my flutter main. So I'm boosted in speed. How many turns actually left in Trick Room? Or not Trick Room, our Tailwind. That's the real question. Two. So that actually works out perfectly. Chances are you're sucker punching Flutter Main. So I'm just gonna protect Flutter Main. 
And I am just going to choice into Thunderbolt here and get rid of Shen Pao at the same time. I think that's a great call because we really need to make something happen here. So he ends up Terrasalize. He Terrasalize and probably the, the Thunder? Yeah, or not Thunder, the Tornadus. Yeah, you're going to go Ghost type in here. It's fine by me. It's fine by me, a little Ghost type action. You got to be Sucker Punch Flood me. You have to be Sucker Punch Flood me. There's no doubt in my mind you're Sucker Punch Flood me. My heart, my soul. My heart and soul kind of ruined what I wanted to do. The Bleak Wind Storm's going to fly here. Okay. That is fine. That's fine. You're doing five damage to me. Um, we're just hoping Fluttermane doesn't die out. Of course you get a speed drop on me. But we're just hoping Fluttermane does not die out here, right? To a sucker punch. That can get that can get ugly real quick. Because I want a gleam here. And I also want a thunderbolt. The sucker punch does come out here now. Of course it does. And we survive, which is just massive. Ungodly massive. We end up doing some damage onto you. He's gonna go for a bleak one storm. He's gonna land it. He's gonna KO my Fluttermane. Wow, that Shen Pao really protected that thing. Until Bleak Windstorm comes out here. If it's crit on my flood, we were dead anyway. That protect from the Shen Pao is massive. It really was. So now I get to drop a nice big Thunderbolt. Damage is immaculate. We pick up the KO. And I wonder who your final Pokemon is. Is it Urshifu? I'm choosing a Thunderbolt. Can Magnezone clutch this one up against a top tier team? Hailwinds are gone. No more Tailwind. Rain should end, right? Rain has one more turn, actually. Which kind of hurts us. And I can't protect out, and it is Urshifu. We're going to die out to a Surgeon Strikes all day here. That really hurts the soul. That really hurts the soul. I can't protect or anything, and they get the Rain Boost. I'm just going to go for Close Combat. I forgot. I forgot the Rock cl Close Combat. That's KOing us anyway. Surgeon Strikes would have KO'd us regardless. But there it is, ladies and gentlemen. One and one. Wish we would have won that battle because we played so good up against some mana Pokemon. Final match is on its way. Wish we would have won that last match. Magnezone almost clutched up in the back end, but Urshifu coming out there. Very strong Pokemon. Ended up beating us up and taking that victory. But like I said, third match is here, and we're going up against an Ursaluna and Cresselia Trick Room team with Iron Hands, and then they're also rocking out with Amoongus, Fluttermane, and Arcanine. Do I go in with Trick Room Squad, or do I go straight into Weather? Weather would not be bad. I could go Weather. But I'm thinking more so Trick Room. I'm all about Trick Room. I'm all about it. So, you know, I'm going to end up leading both of them. I'm bringing Magnezone in the back end, and then last but not least, we're going Fluttermane. The Flutter Fluttermane. Actually, do we do that? I could actually go Rain right off the rip. I don't mind the Rain. I do not mind the Rain. Actually, yeah, let's do Rain. Let's do Rain, bring Magnezone in the back end, and for a final Pokemon, Fluttermane. Can't go wrong with that. We, we showcased too many, too many teams with Armors and Nidhi, so rather use somebody else here in this third and final match. I'd like to kick it grab ourselves a nice lovely win kind of go from there so we'll see who they want to lead iron hands kind of scary that's kind of why i want to go into the ndd arm rouge but oh, i was gonna say but they don't need it but if they want to pop trick room i mean that's fine they're gonna fake up my pelper all day so pelper's gonna get faked out um but hard swap into like magnezone right now wouldn't be a bad play would not be a bad play I could Terra Wave Crash. Would I rather KO? I'd rather do damage to this thing. Maybe I have a chance to KO that thing. But uh, I'm gonna hard swap straight into Magnezone here. A little bit of Magnezone X with the choice. With the choice specs. Oh, I shouldn't have Terrasalize. That's a little bit of a problem. Actually, no, we should be fine. We should be fine. We should be able to do a huge chunk of damage here. They're probably faking out with my Magnezone slot. And then they're probably going into a Trick Room in the next turn. With the remaining damage, if there is any, I can just Aqua Jet and pretty much pick up the KO. Because I doubt they're going to try size in the grass here. Cool. I'm about it. I'm all about it. So Wave Crash coming in hot. How much damage are we doing here? Grassy Legion, Life Orb, Stab in the rain. Cool. Getting rid of Iron Hands. No Fake Out came out. We could actually just attack the grass. So Ursaluna's looking a little scary. We do take a big chunk of re recoil damage, but Trick Room is definitely coming. There's no doubt in my mind it's Trick Room. Yeah, so Trick Room came out here. That's kind of why I want to bring it into Magazine. This is solid Pokemon. And probably Ursaluna should come out here. That's a scary little Pokemon. Ursaluna does end up coming out here. And I think we're just going to go into... We crash into Aqua Jet. I'm going to Aqua Jet that thing. 
Magazine. And I'm gonna go back into Pelipper over to Magazine just in case like the EQ or something comes out here. I'll be able to dodge it and kind of get cooking from there. The Magazine with the swap back, I could see a nice big time terror coming out from the bear. From the moon bear. The bear of moons. And it does not. Wow. Just wants to, just wants to take the soccer jet. That's fine. That's fine. I'll take the free damage. I'll take the free damage all day. I'll take it all day. And there's the EQ. Nice little read on us. We swap into Paloops. No birdie bird action. And Bashkali is going to die out here. Now the real question is, are you Lunar Bless? Probably not, right? Because that takes off your status conditions. And you're probably guts. Actually, I mean, you could do it this turn. Just get some HP back. But now you're just going to Moon Blast into me. Lasting Moons. There's a nice little burn. I highly doubt you're going to go for a Moon Blast. And there's just no shot. And from here... Oh, dude, this is ugly. It's real ugly. But from here, I'm thinking just protect Fluttermoon and try to get rid of the bear. Probably my best bet. So we're not soaking up these EQs and all that. Which is, which is not happening. It's just simply not happening. Trick is way too long. Oh, man, this is ugly. We're going to go protect here. We're going... Actually, I could wide guard. But I doubt he's EQing again, right? I doubt he's EQing. We're just going to stay in this slot. Let's see a facade. I could see an EQ. I mean, potentially, right? Just for him to try to take out Fluttermane. I would probably consider doing that. But yeah, if we don't get rid of this bear right here, it's game set match. It is game set match if we do not get rid of the bear. We need the bear out of here. That's why saving the terror deck would have been massive for me. He ends up, oh, he ends up withdrawing the bear. That was a dumb, dumb play. And we got Hurricane cooking in that slot. I like it. I like it. It's not going to KO, I don't think. But still, a nice chunk of damage. And Luna, that's weird. That's a weird play. It's a weird, weird swap out there. I, I, I don't understand it too much. I don't understand it. And we almost, almost pick up the KO. So he can put me to sleep now. Not sure how much I like that. But from here, I am just going to gleam. Yeah, that sucks. So I go for double protect because I know he's put me to sleep. I know you put me to sleep. Now we're gonna we're gonna shoot him for shadow shadow ball here and and a hurricane this slot that hurts man. I put you end up putting ooh, end up putting me to sleep. I maybe should have took out the moves, but I'm gonna put Pelper to sleep. It's an odd call. Lunar Blast is gonna come out here. The chances are they're gonna maybe swap a move this next turn. But I am wasting out these stricken turns rather well. Shadow Ball coming in hot here. Getting a nice chunk of damage off of Crest too, which is massive for us. And a special defense drop, which is even bigger. But with one turn left in Trick Room, I gotta protect this one out. So I'm just gonna protect. And I am going to hard swap into Magna soon. And the reason I want to hard swap into Magna soon is chances are they're not putting me to sleep. They're probably sw uh, swapping into Amoogus, and Magna soon outspeeds every Pokemon on their team. So if I swap Pelipper now, have Trick Room end, we can really get thriving and get off some more damage next turn. It's a big mistake from our opponents which not Ursula. I just don't don't know what that play call was. But maybe they want to swap the crest instead. Not too sure, not too sure, because Ursula had us on the ropes. The bear had us on the ropes. It ends up just Lunar Bless, and you can have some HP back, that's fine by me. And from here. A rage pattern of the trick room is gonna come out here. Oh dude, this is ugly, man. This is so ugly. I don't know what to do here. really have no idea what to do here we're gonna hope that because dude, dude the bear just just too good for us man i'm choosing the flash cannon i'm gonna double down the crest but rage powder stuff yeah the bear man the bear's gonna the bear's gonna win this match all day unless i swap into let's make a nice big swap Go back into Pelipper, but then Pelipper's asleep. There's no way I'm wasting another five turns of Trick Room. This is just ugly. It's gonna be ugly because we're gonna die to EQs when my none of my Pokemon on the field are touching the ground. To make matters worse, right? <laughs> to make matters worse. The bear comes out here. Um, Magazone's dead all day. We already know Magazone's dead all day. I'm gonna go for the Gleam. 
And I got double down in the bear. So there goes an EQ. Can you eat this up, Fluttermane? I know Magnus is gone. And Fluttermane's gone. Yeah, dude, the bear. We probably should have got rid of Amoongus when we could have. Instead of Shadow Balling. But it's just tough. It's just tough. This Crest and Amoongus really played a threat in this game. But the bear's here. Yeah, we're not winning this one. No shot. No shot. Because the bears can just facade now. It's game over. And oh, Flame Orb can actually trigger twice. That's wild. That is wild. But uh, I'm going to throw out Pelper here. We go one and two for today's video. We're going to grab ourselves a losing record. Very close matches in battle number two and battle number three. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Rocking out with off Meta Magnezone here in today's video. Absolutely love this Pokemon. Wish we would have grabbed ourselves another win, but going up against some tough teams today did not help us at all. Magnezone came in clutch in match number one, used him in match number two and three. I think we used him in all of the matches in today's video, and it did absolutely amazing. Just, again, we went up against a few meta Pokemon that really that really took us down. But guys, that is going to be for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.